Right, I'm going to put that privacy room up, uh, which is a bit mad really because I think the weather has turned particularly augusty. There's 90% chance of rain. Yeah, I think we've got the 90% right here. And yeah, the window there, you can see. Uh, at least I'll be doing some of it undercover. You're going to hold the camera under the cover, aren't you? I'm not doing it unless I can be undercover. Right. Not getting <laughs> drenched out there. <laughs> and Poppy's certainly not. No. You're just going to stay here, aren't you, Pops? Good girl. Right, first things first, let's get everything out. <laughs> Right, I think I've got everything out. I've got the ground sheet, I've got a carpet, I've got the bag of bag of um, brackets and uh, poles for it, uh, bag of pegs and things, and the awning itself, which is in this big red bag. Right, so let's get going. Right, let's get these out of here. I hope I've got all the bits. Hope I've got. Hope I've got all the bits. So do I. <laughs> I'll be putting it away again. <laughs> yeah. So this is the first bit. And this is the clamp thing, and this clamps the awning bit. The uh, fabric goes in there and that clamps it so you need to assemble this thing these two things there's four pieces of this you need to assemble first I've only ever used this about twice or three times. A bit more than that, I think. We did, when we first got it, we started using it, didn't we? But then I think uh, the wind was always against the sea. Or the rain. Or the rain. <laughs> bit here and that that bit go the right way around it says R on it so that's right I think that means that side that side over there no it doesn't it means that side <laughs> and that goes no that is right I've got to figure this out it goes on the right hand side and that goes on the van doesn't it yeah so what you want is a matching piece for that is not that one you watch you're not hitting the ground as well. Can you think come up closer? So that slides in there like that. So if I go that the right way round, I was right, is this this side. Mm. Although it's it I think it means R as you look at it. As you look at it, yeah. So that's that side. That side. What? The screen had gone off. Oh. Just open up the clamps. Oh, 
from there. Might have to turn around here. Yeah, that goes in there somehow. But it's a bit tight, so I need to let something out of the way. Over. And that, that thing sits on there. Like that. We've, got all that. We've got a moss or something in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically that side. And this one sits on these like brackets here. So it sort of sits on it like that. What you try and do, try and get the awning in there, which is not easy to do. So you sort of try and tuck the awning itself under these flaps. So I've got one to do down there. Well, That's one side done. I think that's the hardest bit, getting that. Mm. Yeah. in there. Oop. Just gonna check the other side. Tighten it up again. That's it. Before we do anything else, put this on. What's that then? This is a rafter. Right. And that's for the middle of the See what you're doing here because the sun, the sun, the light is in your eyes. Yeah, I think that's going to tighten it up up here. Right. So, could do with two stools, couldn't you? I could do with that. Scaffolding, really. <laughs> you can't put more tension in these, they screw in.
just got to check that the awning itself, the fabric is in the is in the thing. It's caught by these clips. Right, other side. Needs to be gripping this fairly well. to hold the side extension pieces up aren't they yeah. if I remember yeah. and there's another one goes goes in the middle right. yeah like I say yeah. it is a while since we did this so having to remember some of this curtains curtains yeah leave those in the dry for now never sure whether I'm gonna bother putting those up yeah, depends where you're sitting out at night, doesn't it? Yeah. Foam pieces to go against the side of the van. Yeah. We'll go see those later. Four of. Got a bit curly. Skirt. Goes on the side of the Goes along there. Somewhere along there, doesn't it? Yep. Can't remember how. More skirt. That's for the wheel arch, that one. Is it? Yeah. And we've got um, one panel, isn't it? It's one of the front panels, I think. Is that one of the front panels? Well, it depends. If you've got the side pocket, that's where that go, those go, don't they? Where well, what goes? Those. You have to put them down the side. No, this is a front panel, isn't it? Yeah, one. so it's not that. So what happens with these, so we know what they are, is it's got a Velcro. pocket, you know, which is really stiff to get open. And yeah. What you do is you put these foam things. Yeah, foam things down there. Down here. It's a bit. I used to, we used to try and leave them in, didn't we? Yeah, but then you can't, can't get in the back. Back. <laughs> oh, do we like this awning? <laughs> it's great when it's up. Well, yeah. it, it is an awful lot of messing about, and you really need two hands because one of them's filming. <laughs> I think this awning is easier to put away than put up, isn't it? Yeah. I can't get my arm out <laughs> Right, that goes about as far as my arm will reach in there. I'll put another piece in to push it forward. So, so you've got to figure they, out which way round it is. So 
these velcro straps they go on the poles yeah that go up against the van so the rubber protects the van and the poles are in there so that's the inside on that side yeah yeah you won't break the neck. So what you now do is you just thread, you thread that bit in that rail going up there, which is easier said than done. Yeah. Because you can't see what you're doing here. problem here is that this bit of material is catching on on this I can't move it so finally you should end up with something that's on there tuck around the back but the trouble is what's happening is this fabric here is ripping it's catching all the way along as you put it in begin to remember why we stopped using this <laughs> But that's one side up. Yeah, so. I'm not going to film the other side. No. But no. we'll film the front when we get to that. Yeah. I think this Fiamma awning privacy room would be a don't buy from me. <laughs> I, um, I forgot something. It was probably my fault. But there's a little bracket that goes in there. See the little black thing there? I forgot to put that on there. So to get that back in there, I've had to undo half the clips on one side, loosen the awning off, take the awning rail off. This one was a real a real pain to, to get on or get off. I had to undo all the clips, all, all bar one, so I could get that back in there. Because I found it on the, on the floor, didn't I? You found it on the floor yeah, and I said, said what, what's this? that? It's only a vital bit. Yeah. It holds it all together. Good job, I found it. Yeah. I could have put the whole thing out. Yeah. Then I could have said, what's this? Yeah. Right, this is the jigsaw <laughs> bit. So you've got three panels. You've got a door here, I think. That is the door, isn't yeah, it? Because that's, that's a narrower yeah, panel. That's a window with a fly screen. Yeah. And then there's a blank panel. So you have to decide which way you want the blank panel. Now, as I'm looking at the inside of these, that there is the door panel. And we want it sort of here so you slide it on from this end goes along this this rail here and so the door goes on first yeah. so that goes in there and you can walk this along fairly easily unlike the side panels which are absolutely I don't know why those side panels well the fabric's gone on it because it's got battered I think yeah well possibly so that goes there and then you've got these velcro strips that you can use to tie it together so that velcro strap goes there and yeah. then you've got a zip here that you can do up so if you hold the camera let's get the first zip done up oh, it's going down my sleeves <laughs> That's it. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. And somehow get the zip started. That's it. So that's the first bit of zip. Right. Right. Next bit. Already gets jammed. You said this side bit was easier. That's ah, alright. I've got a bit of the Velcro in there. You see what's happening with these, 
is that it's all fraying at the edges. Yeah. It won't, it won't go past the little cap there. That's it, once it gets past there, you're all right. Zip it up to this one. <laughs> Just zip it loosely for now. So then you do this zip here. Bless you. How these zips won't go, to, go down, but they won't come up. That means something somewhere, I don't know what that means. Right, and I'll go inside and then realise you can't get inside. you can do up here. And this is when the wind starts, isn't it? Yeah, now? yeah. When you haven't got it secured. Right, I'm just going to go around and do all the zips up. So this goes, sort of goes in there like that. And it locks, if you twist it, it locks. It's quite clever. Idea is that the pole's supposed to be up against the, the rubber bits, but you can't put it up against the rubber bits because I can't, can't get, get that there. in the corner. Yeah, we didn't have that problem with the original van. With the original we? one, no, no, no it's, the, no, it's the design of the awning because it's recessed back yeah. a bit. Yeah.
so I've got most of it sticked in. level. Hello. And this is the door. Alright, to give some sort of support to the door you've got this clip thing here and I struggle for ages to figure out how this works but it, what it does is it clips in, you have to come up here a bit, clips in this rail here, sort of a channel there and you move it along to where you want your pole and then you tighten it up and your pole thing goes in there it took me ages to figure that out when I first got this <laughs> I don't think instructions are with that clear no so now we get some poles or remaining poles You've got to stop, don't go past a certain level. I won't go past there then. To stop. Stop. So that goes in there. And that's your door. That's your door post, if you like. That's it. And then you can tie this bit to that. So like that. And then there's your door. There's your door, yeah. Yeah. That's all. I think I think I need a coffee. <laughs> no, surely not. I do. <laughs> a poppy to make one then. Right, let's get tagged out. Got these like rubber rubber bungee strap things. Hold them in place. To give it a bit of uh, resilience, so I'm going to get on and do all the pegs there. The ground's, the ground's fairly soft, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then I'll peg out outside and then put the floor down. Right, that's the inside pegged out. I run out of black, black pegs, so this side is orange. I also have discovered that I've got rather a number of bent pins, uh, bent uh, pegs. Right, first of all. This is a skirt that goes at the bottom of the van and it's got these eye holes there you can use. It has got, as you can see, a thing that you can put in an awning rail but that would mean fitting an awning rail to the uh, to the to the van. I'm just looking. I've got a low battery on here. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to carry on. Oh, so. you're just going to carry on regardless. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> so if we don't lose you, so I got these things and uh, they're called Stu they're called Stugvig and IKEA or IKEA as uh, certain politician ones called them, and they they're a suction cup thing. <laughs> And what the what you what I do is put that through. Poppy, be quiet. <laughs> put that through there. Yeah. And stick it onto the van with a suction cup. But they need cleaning first, and I'll need to clean the van. Oh, what's your back in it? I don't know. Right. So we've got the skirting attached with these Stugvik clips. There, so I've got to put something over the wheel arch here. Right, so that's the, the wheel arch cover on. And a very simple thing with some rubber sticky things. So we put our ground sheet down. Got well, underlay, really, isn't it? <laughs> Can't quite get it over that way, but that's basically the, the ground sheet. Oh, it's only taking us about. Taking me about two hours, hasn't it? Yeah. 
we're done. Just get the chairs out now. A couple of people have asked us about these chairs. They're from Oz Tent and they're called King Goanna Chair. And they come in this bag. I suppose this. How tall is that? Three foot. I haven't really got a measure, but that's three foot. It's not, it's not particularly wide. There's my hand. So we're quite quite compact. Let's get them out. Wandering off.